I got a little bit more masking tape and paper to put down, but I'm getting tired getting down on my hands and knees like that. So while I'm resting a little bit, I'm gonna check out this top rail. And if you see any lines in there, take a putty knife and I'm just gonna use the edge, lightly go over where it's chipped out to see if there's any other loose bits, okay? going to do everything. I'm just going to look and see the spots that I need to do before I get into the sandpaper. Now most of this rail is in good shape actually. See? See here's here's another little spot right right in here. So I'm just going to kind of go along here, and don't forget your bottom rail here. Any loose bits. Where you see it's already been flaking, just run your, your putty knife on there, two inch, throw away. Well, this is a good putty knife, actually. This is a two inch hide, it's called, and it's got a metal end. I like these. Oh, this is called Red Devil. Sorry about that. It's an older one, but it lasts because it's got the metal tip. If you can find one like that, you know your, your money is well spent. Okay, check out the rest of your rails before we get into the sandpaper. Now hopefully the last time this was painted, it's all nicely painted, but if you see any old paint runs, now's the time to kind of scrape those off. Your rail is only going to look as good as the last paint job, so if anything is rubbing over that, now's your time to get it off. See, we'll, we'll sand this with some sandpaper and that's going to blend that down in to the metal and that's all also going to etch the metal it's also going to etch the existing paint around there and it should it should bind and adhere properly now if you really wanted to you could you could put something else on there sand it down so you don't see this because chances are when we get done painting and even after i sand this i want to try to sand this as best i can to try to get a lot of that out but if, if there's any little edges it must is to put two coats and that's going to kind of relax that and blend that on in. I mean, we're not going to spin an arm and a leg on this rail, but this if this rail is inside your house or something, or right at the front of your property entrance to your front door or something, spend some extra time and get it as good as you want, okay? You're in complete control over that. Now see here, I'm all the way down. I scraped all this off because it was loose and I'm right down to the metal piping now do you want to do that on this whole thing yeah you could if you wanted to and then sand that you could prime that two coats of finish we're not going to do that this is old school we're going to do it as good as we can this building right here is a hundred how old is this building on a hundred years old over a hundred years over a hundred years old we're going to do this old school style we want we want some of this stuff to dip in and stuff because we don't want this to look like a brand new handrail do we no okay we want to keep it we, wanna, we still want to keep a the, little the bit charm. yes a little bit of the charm i like that word okay so we're still going to keep working on this before we get into the sandpaper keep it going okay before you get all gung-ho with the two inch putty knife or the inch and a half putty knife make sure you wear some goggles because as you're, ooh, these are kind of steamed up too. As you're scraping, that stuff flies up. And, and believe it or not, if you don't have something on to protect your eyes, I guarantee it, you're gonna get some in your eyes. So use some goggles, use some sunglasses, some old sunglasses, whatever, as you're scraping out here. It's just a good thing. Hey, here's a tip for you too. Don't, don't just get anything visible. You know, run your hand along here, because I still feel some bumps up here that you may have missed. 
and put your hand all the way around it because son of a gun I feel some right down under here and I'm glad that was pointed out to Joe because that needs to be scraped too. The last thing you want is to finish the job and pat yourself on the back. I think you did a really good job and somebody runs their hands along there as they're using the handrail. Oh yeah, Joe did that. Didn't he do a good job? Yeah, yeah, you don't want that. Check out your whole project because again, your paint job is only as good as the what? You know what I'm talking about, the prep. That's right. Hey, that's all I got for this time. But I'll be back with more videos.